optical phenomena in granular microphones. Thank you. So uh, I will talk uh, a bit about uh, exotic uh, stuff uh, which deals with uh, brain wall brain black holes and optical phenomena. Okay. Uh, the work is done uh, together. Uh, should I speak loudly? Uh, more loud or is it okay? Everybody hears? Okay. Uh, the work is done uh, together with uh, Zdeněk Stuchlík and Paulina Hanková. Uh, let me start from the very beginning and introduce uh, the framework uh, we use uh, to study the uh, extra possible extra dimension. Uh, we use a Randall, stand, uh, Randall Sandram model. Uh, as, as you probably know, in a Planck energy scale, the classical gravity uh, given by Einstein's equations uh, breaks down and we enter the realm of uh, quantum gravity, where today uh, two leading theories uh, are like uh, M-theory and loop quantum gravity. Uh, the randall sandra model is based on the M-theory, where uh, the matter fields formed by open strings are attached to a free brain, which is immersed uh, into anti deciter five-dimensional uh, bulk. Uh, while uh, gravity, which is uh, determined by closed strings, can uh, leak out uh, to the extra dimension, uh, extra spatial uh, dimension. And uh, due to negative uh, cosmological constant, the gravitons are reflected back on the uh, three brain and uh, uh, forms something like uh, tidal forces, some additional effect which could be possibly detected. Uh, the field equations in the bulk uh, read uh, have this form yeah, here, where uh, there is uh, introduced a new uh, fundamental Planck mass, uh, which is usually uh, which is less than the Planck mass we have uh, uh, on the brain or we uh, have on the brain. So uh, this uh, this effect uh, effectively solves the hier hierarchy problem. The lambda parameter here uh, determines the tension on the brain, and uh, lambda tilde is the bulk cosmological constant. Uh, and now, if we have a, a space like univector MA, then we can induce a metric uh, on the brain from, uh, from the finite dimensional one. The, uh, equation, the field equations on the brain then have this uh, form, which is uh, uh, up to the, uh, which, which has uh, the uh, typical uh, terms uh, we know from the Einstein gravity, the cosmological term and the energy momentum term, and uh, two new effects, uh, the local bulk effect, uh, which is encoded in this, uh, this uh, tensor as mu nu, where uh, it is essentially uh, the square of the uh, T mu nu uh, of tensor energy momentum tensor and the uh, projection of the uh, bulk uh, wire tensor uh, E mu nu uh, determines the tidal, additional tidal effects uh, on the brain. Uh, the fundamental uh, constants like Planck on the, uh, on the brain uh, is connected with the bulk uh, Planck mass through this formula and the cosmological constant through the second one. We assume uh, in our uh, studies that the cosmological constant on the brain is zero and we have uh, no uh, matter there. Uh, so uh, the energy momentum tensor is uh, also zero and the bulk uh, cosmological <coughs> constant then have this one. So uh, the, <coughs> the field equation then reduced to this set of equations where the uh, projected wire tensor satisfies the divergence constraint. And then the four-dimensional uh, relativity energy momentum tensor can be formally identified with the bulk wire tensor through this correspondence. And the Einstein-Maxwell uh, solutions then give us 
the vacuum solutions of the brain world. Solutions. Uh, in the case of static and spherical systematics based vacuum solution, uh, we obtain on the brain a space time of Reistein Monstrum uh, type where the uh, square of the electric charge is replaced with the uh, so called tidal charge, which reflects the big reaction of the uh, bulk gravity. And in the case of the actual symmetry, we have the scale Newman type of uh, space time, where again uh, the square of the char uh, electric charge is replaced with this uh, tidal charge uh, parameter or brain wall parameter. Uh, let's uh, shortly discuss uh, this tidal charge. Uh, the horizon of the black hole is, uh, is uh, given by uh, this formula and one easily see that if the brain wall parameter is uh, greater than zero, that the horizon is smaller than, this, than the corresponding care black hole uh, horizon, so it's kind of uh, weakness, the gravity on brain. On the other hand, if we have a negative tidal charge, the horizon is larger than uh, this uh, corresponding care black hole case, and uh, it kind of uh, the negative tidal charge kind of strains the gravity on brain. And when one does the short distance limit of uh, perturbation analysis, one finds out that the uh, preferred uh, preferred uh, values of the brain wall parameter are negative. So that's why we will focus on the negative uh, values of the brain wall parameter. And how to test it? So far, the only way to touch the uh, distant objects is through the uh, electromagnetic radiation. So we study the fo uh, or we consider the following op uh, optical phenomena, like a black hole silhouette on bright background, uh, images of radiating Keplerian rings disks, which uh, will be uh, presented, or the results are uh, done in the framework of the care, brain work care space-time, and uh, then we will present uh, the effects connected with perfect fluid tori, which, which are held in the uh, rice and strand type of space-time. So, uh, the uh, photons are hunted through the card, standard Carter equations with uh, this constant of motion, covariant energy, azimuthal uh, angular momentum, and the uh, Carter separation constant. Uh, let's start with the first, first mentioned uh, optical phenomena, uh, black hole silhouette. Uh, black hole silhouette is uh, a set of points uh, which correspond to photon orbits where one solves uh, the reality uh, condition of the uh, radial motion and uh, the condition for the extrema gives the uh, circular or spherical orbits. One finds for a given L uh, the radial position and the Q parameter of uh, the photon orbits and then through this observer screen parameters alpha, beta, one can construct the image of the uh, silhouette. And then uh, one gets this kind of pictures. If uh, here uh, we fix uh, the sum of the square of the spin parameter and the tidal charge to value uh, 0 0.9982 squared, and then we just uh, change the parameter B from 0 to minus 6, one see that this, how the, uh, how the brain wall parameter strengthens uh, the gravity, uh, here it is reflected in the larger images of the, uh, of the silhouette for uh, more negative uh, values of tidal charge. If, uh, if one uh, chooses uh, a small value of the sum a squared plus b. One uh, observes a similar be behavior. Uh, yes. 
uh, to quantify the effect uh, or the uh, effect quality with the silhouette image, one uh, can uh, define set of uh, parameters. Here uh, we uh, deter or we determine a parameter beta mass, which corresponds to the maximum of the uh, silhouette curve above uh, the line beta equals zero, and uh, we define shift, which is the distance of the maximum beta max from the uh, center of the sky. Say. And if one uh, plots these, uh, uh, these two parameters, one see in a case of the shift that there is the monotonic uh, change or increase with, uh, uh, with uh, increasing negative value of uh, the tidal charge. And uh, in the case of the parameter P2, uh, the case where the uh, sum of the uh, spin and uh, square sp spin and the variable parameters are equal to the uh, highly spinning uh, black hole, uh, one finds first uh, increase of this parameter P2, which means that the, uh, that the beta max uh, beta max increase uh, much faster than the uh, difference between uh, right and left edge of the uh, of the silhouette and oh sorry and uh, after reaching uh, maximum it is other way around uh, yes now we are getting why uh, why it is maximum actually uh, it, 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 it is connected with the behavior of this oh, here it, it looks that it uh, uh, actually uh, I do not recognize the physical reason just okay so you know mathematically just mathematically yes uh, this work is uh, in progress Uh, now let's get to the case of uh, radiating Keplerian uh, ring in the pre-envelope Kert space-time. So it is a typical setup. We have a ring in the equatorial plane, equatorial plane, and an obser observer at some inclination theta uh, O. And we are uh, looking for, uh, for first for its image. Uh, we expect or we suppose that the ring is composed of isotropically and monochromatically radiating point sources on uh, Keplerian orbits. And one obtains uh, this kind of images. Here, uh, it is, uh, the, the simulation is done in this way that we uh, fix uh, the spin parameter and only uh, the uh, parameter parameter is changed. Again, uh, and uh, each ring is uh, determined by uh, marginal stable orbit. So uh, the to, uh, with uh, increasing relative value of the variable parameter, the R isco is growing <coughs> as well as the uh, image of the of the uh, ring. Uh, this is this was done for s several uh, inclinations of observer and uh, the effect is. Uh, say identical. Now, we, when one has uh, the uh, data which determines the image of the, uh, of the ring, one can calculate uh, the profiled spectral, li spectral lines. So uh, if one assumes that, the, uh, uh, that uh, the radiation or the uh, emissivity is the delta function of uh, locally emitted uh, energy, one obtains this kind of uh, pictures. First set of pictures is uh, uh, tries to show uh, how the variable parameter affects uh, the uh, profile of the of the profile spectral lines. But the main uh, effect is the increase of the uh, width uh, of this spectral line, which appears in uh, all cases of uh, the inclination angle. But when one uh, check uh, uh, the 
profile spectra lies uh, relative, relative to oh yeah, it's also for uh, theta 80 degrees. But when one comes to the uh, situation, when is comparing uh, for a fixed variable parameter uh, the uh, shape of the spectral line uh, according to different inclination of uh, the observer, one see uh, similar behavior that the uh, width of the spectral lines is also increasing. So one has to be careful at this point that if one wants to predict the values of the variable parameter, uh, one has to fix the latitude of, or ha have fixed the latitude of the observer. So now we get to the case of radiating aperient disks, which are also held in the Kerr-Newman space-time. Uh, they have, uh, the inner edge is at, uh, again, at marginally stable orbit, the outer edge is at uh, 20m. Again, the disk is composed of the isotropically and, uh, uh, and monochromatically radiating uh, point sources. And here are the uh, images, again, for the case where we fix the sum of a squared plus b, uh, th th this time it's the value 0.9981. And uh, one see that uh, the effect of the brain drop parameter namely touches the inner part of the disk. Even if the, uh, here, here the latitude is 30 degrees, when one increases uh, the latitude, one see that the uh, attached uh, region uh, inside of the, uh, close to the marginal stable orbit uh, increases. And the corresponding uh, profile spectral lines uh, have the similar beh behavior like in the case of the ring. So here we have a profile spectral line uh, for the case of 30 degrees observe for obs observer uh, 30 degrees latitude and but uh, when uh, we increase the latitude we see that the effect is uh, the effect of the brain work parameter is, is reflected in a more and more stronger fashion why it is so why it is so it, it is the, the, there are several phenomena which uh, will uh, take place here, namely the increase of the latitude uh, by itself uh, increases the width of the uh, spectral line. And so here both effects uh, increase the width of the spe spectral line. There, therefore, it is much more profound in the case theta 0 is 85 degrees than in the previous cases. Yes. And finally, we got to the case of the radiating perfect fluid tori, which are now held in the pre world Rice Diamond Stream space time. Uh, with uh, this setup, we have a perfect fluid uh, tori, which is uh, determined by the uh, perfect fluid energy momentum tensor, and uh, this uh, fluid. Yeah, or the motion of the fluid is governed by the standard uh, equations of motion. If uh, we have uh, the, uh, if we apply the paratropic uh, uh, equations of uh, state uh, equations uh, on the uh, on the fluid, uh, we can use the Boer's uh, condition, which says that every stage surface is uh, equisurface, and we can. Uh, identify the uh, equilines of the of this potential with equilines pressure and the uh, energy density. And uh, for the marginal uh, marginal uh, perfect point tori with uh, constant angular momentum L zero, we obtain this formula for the potential W. Uh, which uh, is used to produce the following set of uh, images. Uh, yes, uh, let me uh, sh shortly mention, 
here uh, the we used in the previous cases we used uh, the method of transfer function to get the profile lines and the images of the uh, rings and covariant uh, disk. And here, in the case of the uh, tori, we use the second possible approach, uh, uh, retracing method, and we detect uh, the position of photon with the uh, surface of the disk the, uh, with tori, torus, and uh, it is supposed to be optical thick, so uh, the only surface is radiating, and we use the simplest case, uh, all points are radiating and locally the same frequency and isotopic rate. So uh, the other thing one have to take into account is the choice of uh, the set of the torais uh, relative, uh, relatively to, to different uh, values of variable parameter B, here we choose this, this series of tori. Uh, for given parameter B, uh, we calculate the marginally bound uh, orbit, uh, which corresponds to the particular Keplerian marginal bound orbit ra radius. From this uh, value, we calculate the uh, corresponding uh, angular momentum of the disk. And at the end, we determine the value of the potential of the surface. So uh, one has uh, determined the series of the tori, and we obtain something like uh, this for uh, four uh, representative values of the real parameter B. And we are looking for the appearance as well as uh, for the profile lines they produce. So. Uh, here are the uh, images. Uh, the size of the image uh, corresponds uh, to the uh, physical and uh, physical size of the tori itself, according to the chosen series uh, of the tori, together with the uh, effect of the uh, variable parameter. Again, uh, the set of images. Uh, uh, we, we gen generated them for a different uh, observer inclination. Uh, inside, uh, we uh, also observe, of course, uh, the uh, higher order images uh, close to the uh, photon, uh, photon uh, orbit, which effect uh, forms essentially forms the silhouette of the central object. And. Uh, when one has these data, one can collect our photons uh, and beam them according to the frequency uh, de detected at uh, infinity and produce the profile lines. And here it is, uh, in this case, other way around. As you can see uh, from the, uh, from we, we, we define the parameters on these profile lines. Uh, there are two of them, the position of the maxima of the line uh, and the width of the line. And if one plots them relatively, uh, uh, relatively to the uh, parallel parameter, one sees that with the increasing uh, value, of increasing relative value of the parallel parameter, uh, the line uh, shrinks. Uh, it is again, it is, uh, now it is the combination of the variable parameter effect, it is a combination uh, with the choice of the series. If you get a different series, the, bear, uh, the behavior, behavior can be different. But uh, we have to check it. So uh, to conclude, uh, uh, one may say that uh, definitely uh, there are effects uh, connected with the optical phenomena which can, in principle, distinguish the space-time, uh, uh, which can, in principle, recognize the presence of the extra dimension and uh, say that we live on a brain immersed uh, in an extra-dimensional uh, bulb. So, thank you for your attention.